coming weeks, the agency is hiring new employees to replace those who have been let go. It is 8.05 right now. All this week, world leaders have been attending the U.N. Conference on HIV and AIDS in New York. Congressman Jim McDermott is also there. He, in fact, is the founder and co-chair of the Congressional HIV AIDS Caucus. And joining us live via Skype is Congressman McDermott. Good morning, Congressman. Thanks for being with us. Good morning, how are you? I'm good, thank you. The UN Chief Coordinator for AIDS came out earlier this week and, and he says that he expects to have a cure for AIDS in the next couple of years. What can you tell us about that? Is that a realistic goal to you? Well, 10 years ago we would have said it was an impossible thing to promise, but in fact, what we've had uh, in the last 10 years has been a remarkable move forward in terms of drugs to treat people who are living with AIDS Plus, the vaccine process has gotten much more advanced than it was. No one knows exactly how long it's going to take, but it is now to the point where uh, many uh, physicians and scientists who thought in the past we're never going to have a cure are now very optimistic. It was a very optimistic meeting. So with that in mind, I mean, is there, is there a concern people who have supported the cause now that there's been so much progress made might sort of back away, at least from contributing to the effort to find a cure? You put your finger right on the reason why this meeting happened. Ten years ago, we made the commitment with the Global Fund and with the PEPFAR from the presidency to move forward, and we've, we're now treating, at that point we're treating about 50,000 people worldwide. We now have six million under treatment, but there are still 10 million more. So this was a meeting in which all the countries came together to renew their commitment to wipe out the epidemic, as, particularly as it relates to transmission from mother to child. The goal is by 2015 to have every child born free of AIDS. President Clinton, who's being shown on your uh, screen right now, made that plea that we could wipe out AIDS from, so we'd have no more AIDS babies in the world. And where does Seattle rank in, in the number of AIDS cases? I'm sorry? Where does Seattle rank in the number of AIDS cases? Seattle uh, at one time was very high, but because of our ability to treat, we have gotten to the point where we are now 24th in cities over 100,000 in the United States. We are way down in the list because we have a very effective plan. We've got uh, needle exchange programs. We've got a number of things in place that are reducing the likelihood of the transmission of AIDS. So Seattle's in, in one of the better positions in the United States. Congressman Jim McDermott, thank you so much. It's exciting to hear how much progress was made. We appreciate your time this morning. Thank you. Bye -bye. Next, Zach Leistad.